we can really position us as the number one risk manager of every person. Hey guys, I'm going to share the four things I learned at this year's Magic of Innovation Conference in the beautiful city of Vienna. First, I'm going to talk about complacency. Are we complacent in the West and that's the reason why we can't get our act together? Second, I'm going to ask the question, is on-demand insurance actually dead? Dead before it actually started? Third, what we can learn from the Indian ecosystem? And fourth, what all risk policies mean for the insurance industry? But let's talk about the four topics. So, one thing I learned um, was there was an international speaker who said one thing he really, really learned when he came to Europe was how complacent everybody is, how satisfied with the status quo, and that there seems not to be a big pressure inside the society and the insurance industry. When it comes to the insurance industry, it's super fresh to get an outside view and somebody coming in and pounding your face and telling it how it is. I think this is a warning and we should really, really listen to voices that tell us things like that. Second, Stephanie Goldraven from the US brought a lot of data from a large study they did on the on-demand insurance and the main message is the customer doesn't know what it is and the customer seems not to want it. But it was quite convincing the combination out of the study and actually the lack of success that of on-demand models have. Nevertheless, I strongly believe when we have AI coming into the game and your um, insurance is going to um, 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 increase and decrease automatically without you, you know, pushing, needing, needing to push a button, that could be interesting. Despite the fact that also actuarial models today already include um, that certain risks increase and decrease, nevertheless, I think this could be something really interesting Interesting, especially when on-demand insurance are a lot cheaper than full insurances. The third thing I take away is based on a keynote by Shefila Sonpa from India. She was describing the, the chances and opportunities, the strengths and weaknesses of her ecosystem. And um, what I learned about that was not a lot of details, not only a lot of details about the Indian ecosystem, but actually there's a lot of pain points about legacy, about culture, the questions how to transform large organizations are everywhere the same on the planet. And of course, you have different um, shades of gray or colors, but in the end, uh, it seems that a lot of large organizations struggle with a lot of similar questions. Number four. The fourth thing I take away was especially by the keynote by Frank Genheimer and also the comments of Dr. Alexander Bockelmann and who both talked about, um, the one talked about all the risk life insurance policies, about you know true innovations in the um, life insurance industry that we should see at some point and, and why not have only one policy that starts at the beginning of a life and that helps you throughout your life and the other one underlined the necessity of really conquering the hearts, minds and home screens of the customer and really helping it. I strongly believe both topics are in, uh, correlated with each other. We need to produce new insurance products that are easy to understand, that help the customer throughout the life. Yeah, the customer, not only the insurance company, and we need to set up ecosystem of digital products and services where we conquer the hearts, minds and the attention of the customer in order to not to lose the touch point to the customer. And I think we have a tremendous opportunity because we know so much about customers, we know so much about trends, we know so much about risk. We really can establish us as insurance players also based on PC2 and open banking regulations in Europe, we can really position us as the number one risk manager of every person in our ecosystems and to win the hearts, minds and home screens. But first, for everybody who has not been at the magic of innovation in the beautiful city of Vienna, you really need to know it's not the biggest conference on the world, but a very, very, very special one. And I attend throughout the year 30, 40, 50 events. And the magic of innovation has a special place in my heart because um, you've meet the decision makers of Eastern Europe, Central Europe, 
and also some international players there in a super familiar behind closed doors atmosphere. It's super familiar. And the magic of innovation is also really special because it attracts a lot of experts, thought leaders and influences you all know from the internet, but also from behind the scenes. I just want to mention a few names. So you had Frank Genheimer, who is known for his exciting keynotes and his uh, in-depth uh, analysis. We have Rob Galbraith, is a best-selling author and super known in the US. Dorota Zimnoch, a super known uh, blockchain expert. Emmanuel Denge from Spain. Florian Grailo, Arvid de Costa from Belgium. Shefi Lazompa from India. Timon Dreger from Germany. Robin Danaya. Hashtag Robin Power, by the way, from Italy. And then Dr. Alexander Bockermann, CTO Baloise. Peter Stockhammer, CEO from Generali Vitality. Roger Piverelli, founder of DI. People you all know uh, from, from the public, but also you had people speaking. Uh, Simon Schneider from Maschmeyer Group. Uh, Dr. Peter Hagen from Koya. Alexander Grimm from GetSafe. Dr. Barbara Ries from Deutsche Röck. And Karin Kafesi from the Wiener Städtische. So you really had a lot of mover and shake in the room and that were just the people that spoke at the event and you had a ton of these people also in the audience. So the magic of a narration really attracts super high quality um, of audience and the great thing is everybody's approachable. You can go to everybody and that's super exciting. The organizer Erika Krishan really pours in all her heart and her team to make this conference a super familiar, nice one. And it's so familiar that I actually brought my family this time. At the end, I want to thank again Erika and her team for this amazing event, for this amazing conference. And I will be back next year for sure.